another episode of sims 4 cats and dogs and as you can see we are now currently living in Paige's um childhood home and it's got her feeling really super duper sad about it that it's just a reminder that it's final that her parents are gone you know of course she's starting to second guess maybe she shouldn't even be in the house because it's all of this is just reminding her that her parents are no longer with her but to some degree of course it's giving her a little bit of solace that she will be able to raise her children in this household the same household that she kind of grew up in and um you know it's, it's given her a little bit of comfort but in the end it kind of really is kind of sad you know so anyway uh, we moved in this morning um probably like about an hour ago and i don't know why i'm hitting water for all of those but um i had to do like a little bit of maneuvering i got her garden and stuff together we're going to go weed these and go weed that and hopefully she'll take care of all of these but uh, and hopefully the gardening actually gets her mind off things and makes her feel a little bit better about things. And then also she's taking care of her mom's plants. Her mom actually had like a grapevine here and a daisy. And I, I want to say, I thought it was some catnip too. The strawberry bush, maybe not some catnip. Oh, here you go. Madnip. There you go. So she did have some catnip too. Or catnip, nap, napnip, and madnip. <laughs> So her mom had been doing all of this gardening and stuff. So it kind of makes her feel a little bit closer to her mom knowing that she can kind of take care of those plants even after her mom has moved on. It's a little bit sad. Oh my goodness. Paige, seriously, I just found out about this. Okay, so we clearly need to have a conversation with Sebastian. Maybe his name is Sebastian, right? I forgot his name. Yes, maybe because we had reached out to him and we had been coming so close to him recently. He felt it necessary to um, still kind of reach out and everything. Uh, but anyway, Reginald's here. I'm gonna have him claim this bed because clearly he didn't know that that's where he was supposed to be sleeping. But oh my goodness, look at Hazley has made herself at home. Look at this, guys. She has made herself at home. She's like, I'm home. This is what I'm used to. This is how I used to lay on the couch. So this was like a perfect move for her. I mean, look at her. She's just like super comfortable. Um, let me clear these real quick. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, she's like super comfortable. So it's like nothing for her to, you know what? No, no, don't. Oh, seriously. All right. Go on and finish it now that you've done it. Go on and do it. Whatever. I was trying to have him not really. You might as well go on and resume it now, dude. You just spent the money on it. We had money in the refrigerator, though. But I guess he wanted to come out here and kind of partake. I think he's going to enjoy living in this house. Um, he's already kind of like made plans and stuff for himself right now. He has the piano in here. But he was kind of talking to Paige about maybe making like a little studio back here. Something separate from the house. So that way when he's practicing, working on his music, he wouldn't he won't be disturbing the children. Uh, oh, here's wild catnip back here. Maybe I should have her go get this. I'm gonna have her go harvest that. But you know what? Before we do that, though, I'm gonna try to put a gate back here um, so we can just go that way instead of like walking all the way around. What gate would work really good back here? That's ugly. Ooh, I want something that kind of mimics the the gate, the fence that's already there. Is there anything that mimics the fence that's already there? Clearly not. What is this one? I want this one. That one doesn't mimic, but it looks. I don't know which one mimics, you know, because this one has like X's in it. Is there one that mimics that? Is this like a what, what gate is this? Coastal Guardian fence. So it is a cat and dog fence. So did we not get a cat and dog gate to go with the cat and dog fence? Was it this one? I think it's this one, which is kind of ugly. Why can't it just be without the um, without the post thingies on it? Oh, I think this is it, y'all. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So we're just going to have to just deal with um, another one. Oh, gosh. Uh, I guess this one will do. Yeah. I don't like it, but it, it'll do anyway. Oh, last exception card. I was about to say we hadn't got one of those in so long. Uh, also, we got a washer and dryer. I'm not sure why she, oh, she wants to wash laundry. Um, we did get a washer and dryer. Originally, Hazley's um, 
litter box was over here, but I felt like it would probably be better just to put the stackable washer and dryer in here just until we get a chance to really renovate this house because it's going to need a, a serious renovation because right now we got a boy and a girl son. I mean, boy and a girl son, boy and a girl twins. So they're going to need their own separate rooms. And so I'm trying not to do too, too much right now renovation wise until we get like a vibe for what we're trying to do with the house. And then we technically just kind of moved in. Everything is still super fresh with the deaths and Paige still trying to get over everything. So I don't want to like push a lot down her throat right now. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to just like be like, here, we're going to do this. But some things that I do kind of want to do, because originally when I first started this LP, I always envisioned that, um, Reginald would get like a studio in the city and he would work in the city with artists and stuff like that. And I still want him to get that. But in the meanwhile, I feel like um, it might be a good idea to get him like a little shed out here, just like a little separate thing from the house. So that way he could kind of practice his music and stuff back there. Cause he has the guitar and he also has the, um, Oh, wow. Sebastian is being super sweet right now. We're going to cancel it though. Cause I know he's got to get some sleep. And if I'm not mistaken, he does go to work. Yeah, he does go to work today. So I'm trying to get him to get some actual sleep. I don't know why right now he's just like taking a nap. Why don't you go actually get some sleep, sleep. I get in the bed. Um, but okay. Oh, we can't, we can't get to it. Did something happen? Can we harvest it or no? Oh, okay, she's coming. Okay, I'm about to, I thought she was saying she couldn't get to it. The flea market is in town. Awesome. So now we have catnip and stuff. So what's one good thing about having all of this stuff is, no, Hazley, don't do that. Lecture about drinking from puddles. Um, but one good thing about us having all of this stuff, we could play fetch with Ash. Let's do that. Um, oh my goodness, y'all. Seriously, Sebastian is like spamming her right now. <laughs> um maybe we should go but then the welcome wagon's here too so i don't know but you know what maybe it's a good idea for us to go and just kind of like touch base with sebastian and just thank him for everything so yeah let's just do that seriously sebastian you're gonna show up like this like this seriously oh my goodness it's almost like he's like girl do you remember what you was missing do you know what you was missing and if this isn't the weirdest glitch ever oh my gosh that's creepy because her boobs are through your back just FYI. So we're supposed to be watching a performer? I thought we were going to the flea market. Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, we're at the flea market, but why are we here to watch a performer? I don't know. But here's a performer over here. Let's come over here and let's go watch the performance together. Maybe he was working out at the time or something. I don't know. He won't even put a shirt on. Sebastian, what are you doing? Like, you knew I just had a baby. You know my husband. You just texted him and asked him if he wanted to go out. So why in the world? Look at him. Y'all, he's trying his hardest. He's trying his hardest right now. I mean, you know. He don't have to try super hard, though, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> he don't have to try super hard. But um, I guess we could tip... So Is her name Summer or Sophia? I can't remember. Sophia. Let's tip her, uh, let's tip her $10. Um, but it's kind of funny. Like, I think Reginald would have took... That. Oh, never mind. She left. Okay. Reginald probably would have appreciated it a little bit more. Oh, you know what? Let's do this real quick because this might actually be a good idea. Let me say hi to her. Let me give her a friendly introduction. Now he's thinking about the dog on uh, work, workout machine again. Seriously? I'm going to say hi to her. Maybe a, a, she could be a potential person that Reginald could work with in the future as far as music and stuff goes. I wish that there was actually something like that. Remember? <laughs> Here I am about to compare Sims 3 to Sims 4. You know I do it a lot. But remember how Sims 3, you used to, I think it was like Showtime. You actually could like take your Sims and like do concerts and like actually perform and do like, you know, set designs and stuff like that. That'd be so cool if we had that in Sims 4. That would be so cool. Um, anyway, but I'm going to give her a heartfelt compliment. Just tell her that I enjoyed her music. And just kind of be like, you know, maybe you and my husband can get together. He does music too. He's looking for like people to, um to work with and stuff like that and see if that'll like um help her i guess oh goodness someone's selling a book wait seriously are we that desperate <laughs> let me see what they got over here though because at one point i was thinking about collecting wait does this one have lightning in it wait am i tripping oh no it does and this one has comets coming down on the dinosaurs this one's like a rotating plumb bob. This one's like um, like the little bridge. I want to say the bridge of San Francisco with traffic on it. This one is snow. That one is kind of like snow. That's the Loch Ness Monster, which I have yet to find. These, oh, freezer bunny with hearts. 
um, that's the little steamboat that we see in uh, Magnolia Promenade, I want to say. There's the Lighthouse from Brindleton. There's Grimm. There's Lady in My Way. There's um, <laughs> Granite Falls. This one we have already. And then that one. It's like, oh, these are really cool, though, lady. I, I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I kind of want to buy this. Only because I feel like it'll be so cute to get for the kids. I think I am. Who is the, the, the vendor here? Okay, let me try to... I'm gonna try to do it for the introduction with her and we're gonna haggle. Oh, you were the lady with the boobs in your back. I apologize for that. My game glitches really badly. <laughs> but maybe we'll get like um the, this one for the baby girl and this one for baby boy, Austin and Taylor. Okay, can I can we haggle? Can we haggle? How you doing? She's like, you over here talking all that noise, but I'm trying to get a discount. <laughs> Can I get a discount though? Like, is that possible? She's like, can I get a discount? Like, you know, you find these things in the boxes. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 25% uh, off anything on the table. So let's go grab this. That's rare. So that's awesome. And then can we get this too? And then we're going to purchase that too. Oh, I know you stink. So we're going to get that for the kids. Cause I think that'd be really cute in their rooms. Cause then one can have a dragon theme and the other one can have a freezer bunny theme. Um, but that rare one though, I mean, come on now. These are common. Ooh, that one's rare. Plum blob. It's a limited edition. Should I grab that one too? <laughs> All right, let me go on and grab it too. Whatever. Go on and grab it, girlfriend. Wait, she's going over here right now. All right, let's see what else we can get. I don't even know where Sebastian went. I think he went back into the gym. Um, he was definitely into like getting his workout and stuff on. But I think Paige is feeling a little bit inspired, getting like a little bit of um, retail therapy done, as you will, um, because, you know, it's not very often she gets a chance to get out the house and get some shopping and stuff done especially now that she can kind of shop for the kids but is he over here i want to say he's over here working out because he was thinking about um like the gym and stuff i'm trying to see if i see him really quickly is this him brent okay i just saw the hair and i thought that was him y'all that's so weird that he would just like disappear like that he was like yeah let's go watch this performance and he walks around in his shirt like he's like oh yeah check me out in my shirt right and then you just like disappear and then you just disappear. Wait. Is this him? No, that's Brent again. Is this him? That's him. Okay, good. Let's go here. And then let me try to go sit here. Let me see what he's working with, though. Oh, my gosh. Wait, but why when he got in the pool, he changed into this? Like, he was just in swim trunks. That's like the weird. Why are we having all these weird glitches? Oh, my gosh. Uh, let's do a deep conversation. Um, and then let's heartfelt compliment him. That is so weird. Um, and then let's also do like a little bit of funny. We could do like some old time jokes. Like remember when we were kids, blood joke about old times. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, y'all. She has so many dogs. Sad about evilness. Wait, what? Interacting with an evil sim really brings a good sim down. Okay. And then she needs fun. She needs to take a shower and she needs sleep. Of course. Um, Reginald is still at home. He's actually okay. He's bored too. Oh, dirty, dry, long, dry clothing. Sometimes it's a little thing that means, okay. So it just makes him fine though. Um, let me try to have him build his piano skill while we're here. Um, we're not going to stay for too much longer because he does have to go to work. Um, let me see what time he goes. Oh, in three hours. So we don't have very much time, but I would like to touch base. Why every time I'm around him, this dude has flirty like thoughts. Like, dude, oh, look at Paige. She still has her little baby bump. Oh, I like it. It's so realistic to me because sometimes these sims come from having babies and then they're just like, you know, whatever. What is this on her legs? Okay, I thought that was like boots. Hopefully that's her, her, um, what you call it. But anyway, he's sitting there like, maybe we should catch up and go grab coffee and stuff one time. And, you know, I don't know what they're talking about. But, you know, I feel like she needs to get him straight like, hey. You know, I appreciate you reaching out to me and helping me get in my parents' house and everything. But, you know, I've just got so much going on. So, you know, please don't take offense if I don't. If Oh, he's laughing about the, the old times that you're joking about. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to try to fast forward a bit. But, you know, he's not being inappropriate. So I don't feel like I need to check him, you know, or anything like that. But it does seem odd that last episode and this episode, he has been blowing her up. And, um, you know, like I said, they really never really had, like, closure. So, um... You know, I think it's important that they, they get that. Uh, for some reason, it keeps telling me her QQ is full, but clearly it's not full. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, but I'm going to let her finish talking with him. I'm going to switch over to Reginald. All 
right, guys, here we are with Reginald, and he's just getting some practicing and stuff done. I thought we were writing songs, but it still hasn't given us credit for writing songs. And I know I've done this before, like in another LP. Um, I had a character that would write songs and get like royalties and stuff from music. Like she would write like um, like commercial songs and stuff like that. Is he dirty again? I can't tell because his coloring is kind of like ashy gray like that. Like it's so funny. <gasps> Speaking of his name being Ash, but his color is like that. So it's kind of weird to see um, whether that's like his color or not. But um, I was trying to see uh, where. Okay, I guess I could just click her. Okay, she's over here. Okay, I was trying to figure out where Hazley was. Hey, Hazley. You gonna scratch on that? Oh, she's like so at home right now, y'all. So I guess I said sweet for that reason, but I feel like she's just running around here like she owns the joint. And I'm like, yeah, you do. <laughs> You're fami very familiar with owning the joint. I like when Ash comes behind him and he's all barking and stuff. He's like, you sing that song. You play that music like how you playing it. Um, anyway, so we're like 50% done. He goes to work in 34 minutes. As far as his mood goes, I mean, it is what it is. He didn't get much sleep, but you know, the babies and stuff are probably up there crying and keeping him awake. And oh no, Ash, dude, seriously? I don't have time to be giving you another bath. I don't get it, y'all. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's annoying. It's annoying. Let me lecture to him about playing in puddles. But apparently he still wants to play in the puddles. It doesn't even matter to him. Let's go ahead and bring Paige here. She's probably like super tired right now. Uh, she's in a playful mood because she had a really good time with Sebastian. And um, the sad thing is, is like her and Reginald really haven't had like a good opportunity to kind of like hang out and, and enjoy each other's company. Because I mean, ever since the baby and the deaths of our parents, it's just been like one thing after another after another but i'm gonna have her go upstairs and get herself a quick shower and um, get herself something to eat and in the meanwhile did this dude get back dirty i can't tell whether he's back dirty or not do you like your new yard ash do you do you like your new yard i can't tell if he's dirty or not oh my gosh seriously i want to change his outfit though because i feel like change outfit okay this one okay Cause I feel like whenever he's in this one, it's supposed to just be for when he's walking around. But yeah, he is kind of dirty, y'all. Maybe I should give him some new clothes. I think he is dirty. I think he is, which is gonna suck because nobody has time right now to give him a doggone bath. Oh my gosh, like it's just like way too much with the kids and then with them and then, you know, with the cat. The dog, the cat is actually fairly easy. Like I guess if you ever needed to get an animal in this game, the cat is probably like the easiest thing to get. I mean, look at her. She's easy. You just need to feed her and then every once in a while brush her so she won't cough up hairballs all over the place. Like, yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> I look like she just like literally just jumped into the screen. Like, okay, you're talking about me. I thought I had her go use the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Go do the bathroom and then go grab something to eat. Oh my gosh. Like, it's just way too much. What is up with my Sims and their needs lately? All right, get leftovers. All right, all right. Is he done yet? Did you? Oh, he has to go to work now. All right. So let's just go on and go. He's going to probably lecture him real quick. Like, hey, I told you about, I told you about playing in the puddles. Stop playing in the puddles. Ain't nobody got time to give you baths. He's like, oh no, no, there's no need for you to shake and cry. Ash, come on now. Ain't nobody did you like that. You ain't got to be like them little dogs on the SPCA commercials, y'all. Do Am I the only person that cries every time I see that commercial? I literally will tear up when I see that SPCA commercial on CNN. Like when the dogs, their faces will look so sad. And I'll be like, why people do dogs like that? Why? Like, I understand you got to discipline your dog, but th there's a different level on some of these monsters that like just... They just like, you know, they just go in on these poor dogs. It's like, don't do that. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Just get you some potty time. Go get you something to eat and then come over here and watch Channel Surf. And then that hopefully will help her mood some. So anyway, um, oh goodness. <laughs> she can't get a time alone, I swear. <laughs> like as soon as she goes use the bathroom, Ash comes walks in here. If that ain't a true life story, I don't know what is. But I kind of miss their old house, y'all, to be honest with you. This house is kind of, oh my gosh, look at the laundry. Yeah, we're going to have to do the laundry eventually. Uh, one of the things is that well, now we don't have to do the wash tub. So she's moved on up. She's moving on up. And then we can run this if we need to, if we need to clean. Um, start cleaning routine. Yeah, going to clean up for me, dude. I don't know what you're going to get. Who got a cake in there? Who put a cake in there? Was that something mom's cooked before? I wanted her to sit in front of the TV. I guess it don't matter. Oh, we're going to fast forward a bit because, yeah, it's, it's a thing. Oh, my gosh. Both the babies are up right now. Y'all, oh, my goodness. Should we just, like, hire a nanny? 
Maybe I should just hire a nanny. Let me just hire a nanny this episode. Like they thankfully have a little bit of money. So um, let's see here. Uh, service. Call a babysitter. Is that the same thing? Hire a service. We might have to, y'all, because I she can't. There's no way she's going to be able to catch up in life right now. She's, like, needing sleep. She's needing, like, a little bit of time to herself. And she doesn't even have, like, the opportunity to do that. Um, I know you're tired. And these babies are upstairs screaming and hollering. All right, so we're going to try to hire a nanny real quick um, just for a little bit. And um, that way she could, yeah, okay, good. A nanny will be here at 8.38 p.m., perfect. All right, and she's going to take a little time to herself and just watch um, some comedy. Just going to go watch some comedy for a little bit. Um, hopefully the nanny will come soon. Where are they at? Hello, nanny. Where are you? Is this the nanny coming right here? I think so, because I see the little sweatshirt, the little sweater thingy. Thank you. Nanny to the rescue, because my girl can't take it no more. The babies is upstairs. Hi there, nanny. Joyce. nice to meet you. Hi, nanny. The babies is upstairs, so if you want to just go on and go up there and catch them. No, no, no. They're upstairs, lady. They're up. Are you serious right now? Please don't start picking up toys. What is she doing? Really? Because I wanted you to take care of the kids, not the toys, not the animal toys. And they're, of course, crying in synchroniz synchronization. <laughs> they're crying in synchronization. And my girl is like, bump this. I'm going to bed. Like, I can't right now. Okay, where is the nanny? Can you come upstairs and take care of the babies, please? Okay, I think she's coming upstairs now. Hopefully, she'll grab them. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, good. She's coming upstairs. Okay, good, 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 good. Good. Go take care of these babies for me while my girl gets some sleep. Oh, my gosh. Now, this, that, that's insane. Like, I don't, I don't understand these kids. Okay. She might need a makeover because I'm not digging her eyes. I don't know why all my random Sims have these weird eyes. But thank you, Rhea, Joyce, and I appreciate it. She's still crying. Taylor's still crying. Grab her. Thank you. You got to get this one, too. So get this one eventually. Don't have the social services take my babies away. All right. In the meanwhile, uh, he is at work. Let's see real quick. He needs to work. Um, let's do a couple little bit of work hard. Um, and 40 simoleons an hour though. Like we're winning right now. All right. So I'm going to wait till it turns the arrow and then I'm going to hit normal for a bit. All right, cool. And then let's see, did she catch him? Okay. She did. Okay, good. All right, good. Thank you, nanny. Oh my gosh. Cause if not, I don't even know if Paige would have been able to get any sleep. And I know it's like a wasted expense right now, y'all, but she needed to get some rest. Like it's ridiculous. Um, and then she's, wait, oh, that's him. I was going to say, she's going to take it. She still didn't get any fun though, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right, lady, what are you doing now? You still taking care of my babies? Good. Good. But yeah, I do kind of miss the other house. Um, we're definitely going to do some renovations in this house. So like I was saying earlier, I think one of the main things I want to do is definitely give him like a little shed back here. The backyard is actually a lot. Oh, it's a lot wider. I was going to say a lot bigger, but it's a lot wider. So we could technically put something like out here in the corner. Just like a little shed for him to do his work and stuff in. Um, and then that way, if he does have any clients, he could just have them come out to the shed, you know, come out to the house. I think that'd be really cool. And then I want to get like a dedicated laundry room. And I think the only way we could do that is if we kind of half, maybe we'll half this up. You know what? Let's try to do it now. I got some time. I got some time. Uh, let's see. Do I want to make it in part of the backyard or do I want to make it? Cause that's what I'm thinking. I think I'm just going to kind of, um, because we could put this in here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's do that real quick. I'm going to put this out here for a second. Because I really would prefer a dedicated laundry room. You know, like I feel like it'll make more sense to have a dedicated laundry room than have like a little, um, this little half and half, this little thing right here. I don't know. I just feel like it'd make more sense to do that. Uh, all right. So let's figure out something real quick here. Put this over here for a second for a smidge. I think these are interfering with me, me wall space. Which we might could just put those. We don't technically need those. I mean, they're nice and all, but we don't really need them. You know, unless we put them in our pocket and take them to the end. We could do that. Let's put them in our inventory because we could take them to the um, the vet clinic and use them as decor at the vet at the vet clinic because that would that would be pretty cool. All right, so then we could put the door right here, and then here put a wall. All right. No, didn't do it all the way. All right. And then that way, the laundry room can be right here. And put Reginald's fish, which I thought was kind of funny. I put the fish next to the fish. <laughs> like, here's your fallen comrades, fish tank. 
your fallen comrades. That's so cruel. That is so cruel. Isn't that cruel? I thought so too. I thought it was pretty cruel. I thought it was pretty cruel too. Um, all right, so we can't intersect another object. So let's do like this and then maybe put that there. All right, and then I can scoot this back a little bit. She's proud of her little insects. I know she enjoys looking at them and stuff. So I want to keep them and I want to get rid of them. And then maybe Reginald will go fishing another time in life. And then we could, um, I hate the lights in here. So I'm probably gonna change them out. They're like the kitty lights, the kids ceiling lamps. I'm like, why would they put this in this house? This was like an EA house, you know, like one of the ones that you got when you bought the stuff back, when you bought the uh, expansion pack. This is one of those. So it's kind of like, yeah, yeah. That's what it was like. That's how I was feeling about it. Can I turn this? Thank you. Okay, good. And then let's grab, you know what? I might not put it up against that wall. I might put it up against this wall. Only because I feel like that's kind of weird with the with the thing over there. But the window being right there. Let's put that right there. And um, take an inspiration from Giraffe Plays. He used a actual cabinet to kind of like frame off the washer and dryer. I thought that was really cool. Um, and we could put a sink in here if we wanted to. I am not going to do the same wallpaper. I think I'm gonna do this one in here, right? Yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, this one. Oh, okay, good. And then take this wallpaper. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted this one in here. We might change some more stuff out later, but as of right now, this is what we're gonna do. Oh my goodness, this thing takes up a lot of space. I don't, you know what I think what I'm gonna do is put this on this window. I think it'd be nice to have the window. Yeah, I think that'll be nice to have it on the window right there. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. All right, and then we'll put her little calendar uh, right here and then put this right there for now. And then that way I can put this bookshelf and it won't take over the window situation, I can put it right there. I really want to scoot it as close to this wall as possible, but it's not gonna let me. It's not gonna let me do it. It's kind of cramped. Um, yeah, it is kind of cramped, but it'll do, it'll do for now. I can still put this, I think, right here if I wanted to. Or better yet, I could put this, oh, I can't put that there, shoot. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Um, do we need this? I kind of feel like we could get like a more updated stereo system. Yeah, let's just sell it. We'll get an updated stereo system. I could just get them like the um, the uh, ooh, the little wall. We could either get the wall mounted one or one like this one. This one's kind of costly, but it's it. I feel like it'll look really good right there. The wall mounted one is three fifty. So let's just grab the wall mounted one. Well, do we need? One? We, well, you know what? Let's not even worry about it right now because we don't technically need one right now. But um, we do need to get the the washroom together. So let me filter by washer and dryer, <laughs> laundry day, I mean, um, and they go to show all. And I wanna get that shelf that goes above it. I can't put that there. Can I intercept other objects? What objects are you intercepting that you have a problem with? Is it the light fixture? If it's the light fixture, that's gonna really suck. I bet you that's what it was. Yep, it was a light fixture. I want this one though. All right. And hopefully she can still use the washer dryer. They they made a fix for it. So let's hope that they really did because that's what they said they did. They said they made a fix for it. You know, I haven't tested it since they said it. So um, let's just hope that they really did. All right, and then let's put, okay, I can't put that there. But this light is just so doggone obtrusive. Get rid of it, get rid of it. We actually had one in our pocket. Um, that we could probably use this one right here. I like these. See how small they are? They don't take up like a whole bunch of space. And it's just, they just are, it just is what it is, you know? It's not that major, it's not that major. Look, look how much space it takes up. And look how much light it gives. So we're gonna actually get rid of all of these lights. All right, because for whatever reason, they felt like that was a light to use. I don't know why. And we put one over here and right there. And one right there, we'll do like a little triangle, little thingy there. Then we'll put, uh, we could probably put two in here. One here and one here. Put one by the doorway here. Put one in the bathroom here. And I think that's good. All right, Hazley's in here now, so I can't take that. But I could, I could leave it there though. I don't see that being an issue. And I could just take it, get rid of this. Put her bowl right here. I don't even know if they'll use, like if they'll have their own little personal bowls, but we'll do the two bowls anyway, just in case, but they're probably not gonna use them like that. 
they probably won't all right so now she has her little washer and dryer room so now we got to focus on um his little thingamajig i'm gonna get rid of this because it's just bothering me so let's focus on him having like a little shed of some sort let's put mom and dad um do we even want them in you know what for now let me put them in the inventory we'll figure out something because i kind of want to put the um the little shed back here in the corner i think i do want to leave it do we need two what you call it i feel like we don't i feel like we don't need two but i'm going to keep them anyway but i don't feel like we need to all right so let's do like a little bit of a little shed of a jig right here and we're just gonna block it off hopefully it doesn't look stupid back here oh my gosh we're running out of money we're running out of money fast oh gosh okay we're running out of money so fast we're running out of money. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're running out of money. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's transfer 1500 from the Brindleton to the household. All right. Cool. All right. That should be it. Probably is way too big. Let me see real quick. Because he just needs a place to kind of work on his music. And then he has his guitar. Yeah. It's probably a little bit too big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I can make this like this. All right. Does that look stupid back there? I don't know. I guess time will tell. Time will tell whether it looks kind of crazy back there. Why does it look like it's taller than? It does look like it's taller than the other stuff. All right. Let's grab this uh, foundation stuff, and then also, I swear, I feel like we're always spending money in this in this uh, in this LP. <gasps> we're like always spending money. Like, stop it stop spending money all right can i do those two okay yeah i can do that like that okay and then put um these aren't too bad price wise but i want it to be like lots of windows all right did i make it the right height yeah i guess i did yeah i did down here is fine and then we'll put like a door right here Man, the foundation on this thing is crazy big. Okay, can we get these stairs? All right, and then put these right here. Okay, this weird arrow right there. Um, here we go right there. Wait, why is it not centered with the... Okay, you know what? Let's just do it like this. Wait, what? Okay, I'm like, where... Wait, so it's going to make me do it to a cross. Oh my gosh, it's going to make me do it to a cross. You're trying to make me broke. You're trying to make me broke. No, I want the, I don't want the stairs. I want the railing. I want the railing. There we go. All right. Oh, that only cost me zero dollars. Awesome. All right. So let's get a roof on this bad boy real quick. Uh, we could probably do, I kind of want to do this little weird gable roof thingy, but I don't think I'm going to be able to figure out how that's done. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to figure out how it's done. So yeah. I mean, you know, we're just going to do just a regular roof because I like this roof style, but I have no clue how they did that. It's almost like it's two roofs in one. I think it is. But you know what? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be similar as long as the roof styles match. And then I'll do this little trim thingy, which I think is the thinner white one. I think it's that one. Or is it the inner one? I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's the inner one. All right. So there we go. He has his little shed out here. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that go back okay what did, i gotta put a light in there crazy me i didn't put no lights in there all right so he has like a little shed thingy back here so he can do his it's probably still a little bit too big but that's okay maybe do we have any furniture in our pocket uh we have this so we can put like a little something in there let's go get him a light fixture or two we spent quite a bit of money in on this little thing though he better appreciate it all right and it is probably oh and we still need to get a wallpaper for in here darn it Y'all, oh my gosh, we're about to be broke. He's going to need to moonlight next episode. For real. He's going to need to moonlight. And get us some cash. And then we need to get some flooring. Um, you know what? I'll just use the flooring from here. We're going to make it seem like they had some extra flooring in the garage. Because <laughs> who doesn't have extra flooring in the garage? I know we do. We actually have extra flooring. Because when they come do it, you know, they don't they don't ever use it all. We always end up overbuying what we need. And they never end up using it all. I kind of want to get him like a little chair in here. So if someone wants to come back here and, and listen to him, then, um, oh my gosh, we can't even afford like a little chair. We 
can't even afford like a little chair. Are you kidding me? There's none that we could afford. All right, well, future goals. We'll put like a little chair back here for him. Uh, they do have like the, um, no, they don't have anything, y'all. Uh, they don't have anything. Can I put this out here? That'd be so cool if you could actually put this on the stairs. I guess a move object on you probably could, but you can't, you can't right now. Uh, put them a little rug right here. Cause when you're coming from the backyard, it could be money. You could be walking on dog feces or whatever. <laughs> That sounds so gross. Dog feces. You could be walking on dog feces. Okay, none of these colors go right though. None of them go right. Let's just delete. You know what? You know what? Why am I tripping? We could sell all this stuff. Why am I tripping? And then we'll have money. Wait, did it sell or no? It didn't sell. Did it sell? It says zero dollars. Oh my gosh. It's horrible. 16 some more. okay you know what let's not sell because it's not even worth trying to sell what's up with this where it's not even like sellable is it is it did it burn is this the one that burnt in the fire is that the one that burnt in the fire no it didn't burn so what's the issue that's really weird why won't give me credit for that <laughs> i really want to get him like a little table and chair set out here all right let me do this real quick y'all oh my gosh Oh, let's just do like 500 from Brindleton to this ends up costing us more money than I expected. Like I was like, we'll just do something really quick back here. Something non custom content. -y, please. We could do this. Hannah house. Love. See, this is only 215 or this one's 190. I'm trying to do something non custom content though. This one's fine. Like a little thingy back here. Y'all nothing major. Um, this one's fine. Yeah, let's do something like this. Uh, I wish it was three though, to be honest with you guys. How much is this one? 290 versus 215. This one seems more realistic to put back here. Like a little dingy couch. All right, cool. And this will be like his little studio. Um, let's make it gray so it can match the rest of the furniture here. And if I wanted to throw like a little rug down here, do we have, do we have something? I, oh, he has a rug. Wait, he has a rug. Yeah, he has this rug. Okay, we can make it a little bit bigger. Generic failure, really? Really? For what? What's the issue? All right, let's make it, we can make it green. It kind of does like a little complimentary thing. And then here's little Reginald's studio. I think that's good. Um, we might can even put like the little coffee pot back here later on if he wants to like brew coffee or whatever while he's back here, while he's working. So yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, it's back there off in the cut, you know, just kind of like. All back here all willy-nilly and then uh, we can still kind of partake when the kids get older of getting like some um still put this over here put that maybe like right there um, and then put this I feel like we don't need two, but we'll go on and do two for now can I just put these like this I think so and then we'll just move this like right there oh it's right by the garbage can put the garbage can over here next to our little um our other stuff all right there we go and then that way we can kind of move that like there i like it being kind of like weird you know what i'm saying like if that makes any sense <laughs> does that make any sense you know like this i like it being like that because it looks like it's just kind of like just placed there we go put this one over here maybe all right so there we go Reginald has his own little studio. We got like our little backyard going. Um, we can probably even move because I moved this outside earlier trying to make space in the house for some stuff. But I actually kind of like it back here because that way you could come get some sun and play chess at the same time. But yeah, so all we got to do next is work on the baby's rooms, which we got time for that. I don't know when they age up. Um, I have no clue when they age up. Uh, does it say show some info? I don't know if it will or not. Uh, age span three days. It doesn't really say. It might say, and I just can't even read it right now. But I'm going to wrap this episode up. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'm trying to make sure. Yep. Okay. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>